Welcome to the mystery, maybe you do not know. I am Maria. Wish you a good day. Korea and strange things come incredible but real. You know that Korea is a strange country with the arrival of troops everywhere and does not allow any visitors to come here to take pictures. However, there are still many interesting things about this country that you never know. How do Korean people go abroad? An article published in the New York Times reported the story of a Korean woman trying to get in touch with her fathers who fled to South Korea called Ju Chan Yang. Through a middleman from China due to her father's request and the signs were set up by two men, she was notified and went to the Bordeaux region of China to call her father. In the summer of 2010, her father asked her to go to the border and there, she was picked up by a Korean soldier, a soldier in the smuggling line. This soldier secretly helped her swim through the river that bordering China and Korea. After she reached the other shore, another Chinese came to pick her up and helped Ju Chan Yang pay the soldier's wage. In 2011, she came to Korea. She also shared with the New York Times that the Korean soldier carrying her across the river used a plastic bag to hold her cell phone and put it in her mouth. That's how a Korean has done so that it can travel abroad. However, this secret bridge is increasingly under the control of Kim Jong-un. By 2014, Kim Jong-un ordered tightening control, minimizing the flow of information from abroad, prohibiting North Koreans from contacting the outside fled. Especially enhancing border control with China, interfering with telephone signals or signaling to track down the phone users. The number of people successfully evacuated to Korea in 2009 was 2,914, and 1,276 in 2015. Koreans are actually desperate to get information outside. They want to know how many people who escaped to Korea live, how many Koreans earn each month, how many Korean women are so overweight that they cannot wear them all. North Korea has its own mobile phone network but does not allow international calling. The majority of ordinary people can only communicate within the country. Internet connectivity is limited only to senior executives and foreign guests. Koreans are also prohibited from contacting Koreans in any form. The only country to capture U.S. naval vessels. In early January 1968, the USS Webb Low Intelligence Gathering Vessel carrying the communications equipment and 80 crews leaving their base in Japan to advance to the Korean Peninsula to intercept and interrogate Korean military communications. At that time, the vessel was operating in international waters, so the soldiers on board did not anticipate they would be attacked for room availability. On January 23, 1968, the USS Webb Lo was operating in international waters and away from Wonsan, Korea's largest and busiest seaport. Suddenly a local patrol boat approached and Korean soldiers demanded that the U.S. ships put them on board for inspection. When the American sailors refused, the Korean ship immediately fired. According to Captain Skip Schumacher. A 24-year-old sailor aboard the USS Pueblo, although the captain commanded a ship to the sea, the maximum speed of USS Pueblo was only 24 kilometers, h. It cannot be compared to the speed of the Korean fleet. Moreover, the U.S. Navy also has no arms against the decision to destroy all confidential and sensitive documents on board by using fire. At that time, there were no modern paper cutters like today. As expected, Koreans from outer circle continued firing at the sight of smoke rising. Officials in Washington under President Lyndon B. Johnson were shocked to learn that the USS Pueblo was captured by North Korea. An international law expert at the time commented that the USS Pueblo was the most embarrassing thing for naval forces that have traditionally had more than 150 years to lose a boat, according to the Los Angeles Times. The process of negotiations between the two sites lasted for 11 months. Finally. After the official apology from the USS Pueblo sailors, the statement confirmed they were spying on them. Concurrently concluding that the United States would not repeat its reconnaissance activities so that Pyongyang would accept the release of 82 live sailors. Currently, North Korea still holds the USS Pueblo and has transformed it into a tourist attraction. 
The boat anchored in the Botong River in Pyongyang is seen as a pride of Korean victory over the United States. For years, the United States has been struggling with Korean officials to recapture the ship. And what else strange about Korea? 1. The use of marijuana in Korea is completely legal. However, spreading pornography, biblical possession or watching Korean movies can be executed. 2. In 1962, a U.S. soldier ran to the Korean border but was arrested by the military and eventually settled in Korea for the rest of his life without being able to return home. 3. Judges the orthodox ideology of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea and the brainchild of late President Kim Il-sung. This theory holds that man is the central subject and determines everything in this world. Applying this idea to the Korean revolutionary situation, the Koreans were the subjects of that revolution. 4. This 150,000-seat May Day, May Day Stadium, is located in Pyongyang and is also the largest stadium in the world. May Day was built in 1989 and was fully renovated in 2014. May Day is considered to be the pride of the Korean people because it is often chosen to hold important events in the country. 5. Rijiang Hotel is a 105-story pyramid-shaped building in Pyongyang, ranked as the tallest hotel in the world for about 20 years. The name Rijiang means the capital of Lu because it is a species that is closely associated with the culture and history of the Korean people. The Rijiang Hotel is built with a variety of uses including a restaurant, conference room and a hotel with a total of 7,665 rooms. The building has three wings outstretched, each one 100 meters long, 18 meters wide with an angle of 75 degrees, converging at the top of the tower. This cap is truncated, replaced by an eight-story rotatable block. 6. North Korea divides its citizens into 51 different classes and uses that classification as a tool for social and political discrimination against these citizens since they were born. According to a 131-page report by the North Korean Human Rights Commission, all Koreans will be classified according to criteria such as loyalty oscillate or hostile from the moment they are born based on their sense of loyalty to the government. Of the 51 categories, poor peasantry and patriotic families are considered loyal. Those identified as hostile include American supporters, civil servants and Muslims. This policy allows the Kim family to prioritize or not prioritize all social welfare, occupation, housing and food programs according to the person's predetermined status. 7. In the 1950s after the two-region war, Korea built the Kijongdong, Peace Village, a city visible from the border to attract Koreans. This city is still cleaned and repaired regularly to keep it fresh and clean, but no one can come here. It is also called Ghost Town. 8. North Korea is the only country that has standardized hairstyles for people with 28 types. Among them, there are 18 hairstyles for women and 10 hairstyles for men. Particularly Korean men are forced to follow a long list of relevant regulations. Specifically, male hair should not be longer than 5 cm. Every 15 days, they have to cut their hair once. Older men in Korea may leave their hair a little longer but not exceed 7 cm. 9. The leader of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea Kim Jong-il was born on the day the Titanic sank, April 15, 1912. In 1970, North Korea agreed to buy 1,000 Volvo 144s from Sweden, a neutral country. There are rumors that Pyongyang does not pay for this shipment. These Volvo cars are now used as taxis for a small number of people with money to travel around the city. 11. In many parts of the country, football matches in the 2014 World Cup are shown to the public even if the ball is about 24 to 36 hours behind. 12. Korean computers use their own operating system called Red Star OS. Developed by Korea Computer Center based in Pyongyang and based on the open source code of the Linux operating system. Red Star uses a browser called Nina Ura, a modified version of Firefox and some other customizable features, such as Wine, that allow users to run Windows 3.1 applications. 13. 
In Korea, only the military and the people in the government own a car. 14. The National Space Development Agency of Korea is called NADA. This word, in Spanish, means nothing. The late President Kim Il-sung said, pants are men's clothing. In paying tribute to their leader, Korean women are loyal to the dresses, from modern dresses to traditional costumes that have the body in the form of long skirts. The law banning women wearing trousers has existed since the 1970s, and the North has also ratified the law. Women are prohibited from wearing pants in public or in the office, especially jeans because it is typical of American culture. 16. Korean parliamentary elections are held every five years. The National Assembly meets once or twice a year to pass budgets proposed by the government or review important policies. Each constituency in Korea has only one candidate selected by the state and voters are only allowed to mark yes on the ballot. 17. North Korea hires workers who work in Siberia in an effort to earn foreign currency, and its military also uses a lot of goods and equipment from the Soviet Union. 18. The Koreans did not celebrate their birthday on July 8 and 17, as these were the days when the President Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il died. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe to follow other videos. Goodbye and see you again.